Joe Smith, aka Broadway Joe, named after the constellation, so you know I'm gonna shine. Division one athlete, seeing you about to get that degree in business, entrepreneur, West Side Savannah, Georgia, what's up? I'm rocking with Motown for us. Let's get it. You here with the D1 athlete from Savannah, Georgia, my nigga Joe, what's up? Joe Smith checking in, what's going on, man? How you been, man? Bless, y'all, bless. Tell me about Savannah, man. What was it like growing up here? I grew up here, um... First of all, were you born here? I'm sorry. Born and raised, man. Born and raised? Side, Tyler Brownsville neighborhood, 40th Street. It was, it was, it was, I, I had a good life, man. You know? Blessed. Yeah. Blessed. All right. We struggled and everything, but no pain, no gain. Right, right. <laughs> so, you said you were named after a constellation. Which one is that? Orion. My dad named me after Orion's belt. One of the most prominent, well-known constellations in the world. So it's on the right from the side. <laughs> some people live up to their name, some don't. Well, I'm gonna live up to mine. How did you fall in love with the game? <sighs> on the west side, Tompkins Center. That was um, a gym. Still live a gym. It's a community center right across the street from my house, man. And just, my partners I met in the neighborhood. It was something that we all did, and, and that's how we clicked and we bonded. And I just kind of fell in love with it from there, man. And I told myself that I wanted to play in college. And I played in high school. What high school you went to? Soul C. Johnson. Shout out Soul C. Johnson. Soul C. Johnson. Class of? 2015. Let's talk about college, bro. What's that like? College basketball. Well, like I said, I didn't play my senior year, so, um, Going to Alabama State and walking on my freshman year and walking on my sophomore year was just a, an amazing experience. I got on the plane for the first time and we played Virginia Tech. And we actually beat them that night too. So, um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you now I mean, playing ball in college, you get to travel a lot. What are some What are some new places that you've never been before that you got to see? Really, man, my freshman year, I had never been on a plane. Mm. So, walked on to Alabama State University. Right. Yeah, we flew to Virginia Tech, and that was my first plane ride. We actually beat them that night also. What was that feeling like? Man, it was amazing. I didn't play. I didn't get in the game at all, because I you know, I'm trying to walk on. I'm a freshman. But you was there, though. Yeah, looking up to Jamel Waters, the top point, one of the top point guards in the swag. Mm -hmm. And just that, that energy, man. Virginia Tech, the, the, the crowd, talking trash. <laughs> we, we away, we not, you know what I'm saying, we visiting them, so like, they were pretty upset, man, but the whole travel experience, man, I've been to Vegas, that was, that's the furthest west. Oh, Vegas? Yeah, we went to Vegas, man. <laughs> what was that, who y'all, who y'all play out there? Uh, it, was, it was actually a tournament, um, it was at UNLV. Okay. Um, what did we play? I can't remember who we played. It wasn't UNLV, but it was at UNLV, UNLV. it was just a like, what was tournament. Yeah, it was a tournament. Okay. Man, the life of an athlete, dog, is just amazing. <laughs> so when you tell me I love with the game, can you describe what practice is like? Intense. Um, serious. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be focused. Especially for me, not playing much in high school and then playing in college. I mean, it, was, it, was tough, it was tough for me at first. Was well, there ever a point where you said you wanted to quit? Yeah, definitely. Um, days after practice where I just broke out in tears, you know, my teammates not, they, because at first I was getting killed, when I first went out there I was getting killed, man, I wasn't, I wasn't ready, but I just kept working, um, stayed in the gym, and then the whole weight room experience, that was all new for me, but I loved the game, so I didn't quit, and I knew, I know what I want to do, and what, what God has for me. Like it's a, it's a, it's a gift from God, man, definitely. Growing up, what were some of your favorite basketball players that you looked up to? Um, that first inspired me, I would say John Wall. I think I went to North Carolina. I went to a basketball, a few basketball camps in North Carolina. That's when I learned about John Wall and he became a fan. He had the song out and everything. Okay. And I was just like, <laughs> that was game bang. That was game banging, John Wall. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Before games, who are some artists that you're listening to for warm up? Some artists, all yeah. right. Yeah, me and, my, me and my partner just had the conversation. That really influenced me, J. Cole, Wiz Khalifa, 
currently Lil Baby, um, T.I., and I like to say Starlito. How important is it for you to lead a generation? Knowing that you could have people that are looking up to you and you don't even know. I definitely re recognize the importance of it. It's not something that I just raise my hand and say, oh, I'm going to be a leader. But the way I carry myself, the values that I have, I recognize that I am a leader. So I accept the responsibility. What do you want people to remember you as? as a person um, when they come across you first or when they hear your name first and foremost I represent my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ God um, I wouldn't be where I am today without my faith I just believing in something mm -hmm. second just believing in yourself I can do all things through Christ you know, through strength is being alive. And that I came from where a lot of people come from. You know what I'm saying? The bottom. Nobody believing in you, struggling. 